Okay, this is a tutorial on how to create swipey tabs. So what happens is you have a view pager and a tabbed layout uh, through your action bar where when you swipe across you get a new fragment. Now you can also tap on the, ta the tabs at the top and it'll also switch the fragment as well. And the way we do this is we can implement two separate um, listeners into one tab listener. Uh, in the code we're going to be calling this listener uh, tabs adapter. I created a separate class so it would be a little bit easier for you to see. Uh, so for our main activity again we're going to be doing a Sherlock fragment activity since I'll be using action bar Sherlock. Um, we're going to have a view pager which is what we're allowed to, what makes, allows us to swipe across. Now in the um, your activity you're gonna to have to put in this view pager here and all you have to do is give it an ID that's it um, plus your layout width and layout height as matching the parent and then we go we're gonna set the content view of our um, activity this uh, pager so so we're setting the set ID of r.id pager and then setting the content view as the view pager. And then we're going to add the action bar. Uh, in this example, it's set a, you don't see a bar on top. If you wanted to, you can just take this out, which I will do now and show you what it looks like. Um, so we'll see that. So if you wanted to get rid of the action bar on the top to make it not as cluttered you can add those two lines of code and when you see it see it now I have the, the the action bar up top so you can stick like a, a menu here if you wanted to and it still works exactly the same and then here we're going to be setting our uh, our adapter so like in the previous example we're setting the text for them and we're also specifying what fragments we want to coincide with each page. So here's the first tab. We're calling it fragment one and it will be associated with the class fragment one. And then repeat it a couple of times for as many um, classes as you need or fragments as you need. So then the meat and potatoes is this tabs adapter. Now we have you give it a name, you can name this whatever you'd like, uh, but it has to implement both your action bar tab listener and your view pager on page change listener. So once you add this, you will want it to generate the, the code automatically for you. Uh, you get all these little um, things that, uh, these little methods that are required in order for this to work. And basically all it does is it adds the methods for your tab listener and the methods for your on-page change listener. Now you have to add a few more uh, methods but other than that this is pretty much all your uh, meat and potatoes is right here. So we need to know how many um, tabs we're gonna have so you just get the size. So this is uh, your M tabs is your your list of how many um, uh, tabs you're gonna have so we need so we're creating a list and then however long that list is that's how many tabs we're gonna create on top so that's what this bottom piece is um, and everything that you see in here it refers to position and that's what allows us to okay we're switching to position zero uh, because in code it goes 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So the first position is actually position 0. Um, so when it goes on to position 0 we want this to display fragment 0 or fragment 1. And then when we swipe we need to change everything. So that's how this all works. It, all of it refers to position. You'll see that it all, in a lot of the methods you get position. So on the tab selected we want to know we want to set the current view as or set current item as that position so here's your finding out this is the little um, code for displaying what your 
uh, position is going to be. So when the position is zero, that's your first one. Um, this is going to be your last one. So when um, your in integer is less than your size, and then everything in between. So i plus 1 plus 1 plus 1, everything in between. So you have your three uh, possibilities here. Uh, if the position is i, then you set the current item to that position. Uh, we're not doing anything with the tabs unselected or tab reselected. If you wanted to, um, you can put something in here to kind of see how it works. Is if you um, you can put in a toast like um, a little pop-up message on the bottom that says, "Hey, you selected um, tab." A for let's say like you've come back to that item say oh uh, you've you selected tab A and then if you swipe to another thing it says you've deselected tab whatever you know that's basically how you would see this if you wanted to see how that works you can just put in a little toast um, or a little pop-up which is a, a toast if you want to see what that looks like I can put it in so make text uh, So you D So we'll save it and we'll run it real quick. See, you get a little pop-up that says that you've deselected a tab. And that will happen every single time you, you've you swiped. So that's kind of how that works. Now, um, I'll leave that in so that you can see it in your examples when you recreate it. Um, let's see. What else is there? So these two additional methods, um, we need to add a tab. So we need to grab the information that we have in this uh, array list and however many items are in this array list uh, which is defined here your tab info uh, we need to create that many uh, tabs so uh, the info inf inside each one is going to be the name of the tab or sorry that's already set in in here we already have the names on the top, so never mind. Um, but you need to get the the you need to specify the classes. So we need as many tabs as we have um, uh, pages. So that that's what these two um, methods deal with. Now it's really imper important if you're going to use um, Action Bar Sherlock, you have to use Sherlock Fragment Activity. Um, if you're not going to use it, then you would just use fragment activity, and uh, so and another thing you would get support action bar. If you're not using um, action bar Sherlock, this would just be uh, get action bar, and then you're setting the pager, setting adapter, and everything. So this is a brief tutorial on how to get a view pager working with the tabs, so you get both. A nice tab layout at the top, and again, you can set these as icons too. It, it that's all the same as in the last tutorial. All right, hope you enjoyed this video.